Hello and welcome from southern Germany. This is the Cartago plant in Aulendorf and next to the plant is the showroom where I am right now. And this vehicle here is the Tourer 148LE integrated motorhome. It's one of the shortest ones that they do. It's still pretty long though. And uh, it's 739 centimeters long, 227 wide, 289 in height it costs nearly 90,000 euros or 88,790 an interesting feature here is its weight it weighs 2,900 completely empty that's not ready to go that's completely empty but it's a magnificent 600 kilos of payload of course that includes absolutely everything that includes you the person you're with the dog fuel water food, all that junk you've got in the garage which you never use, it includes absolutely everything. Let's come back to the, the rear here and uh, being a shorter van with um, some features that we see often in larger vans, I thought I'd have a little bit mess around. And I've started off by making the bed, well not entirely because there is a cushion that goes up there which is currently, uh, I think it's down here, I saw it earlier, it must be down there. and. Uh, uh, so I want to demonstrate how much room you actually have got here. Now, one of the features is to make a sort of a, um, to block it off your area here. So you can block this off here by using a door. You know, see, so I'm pulling this out. No, I'm not. I've got to, I've got to unlock it first. I'm pulling this out. Watch. So I'm pulling this out. That goes along the rails which are up there. Then we've got here for the toilet, this rather clever thing here. I say rather clever because it, uh, it sort of catches on there, like that. All right, so, good, so, so far so good. Now, what if though, uh, supposing there's somebody sleeping up there, which there won't be because there isn't a bed, but let's suppose, um, so you've locked this off here and you want to close the doors here. Well, if you close them from the inside like this, there's another rail track up there and on this side. Now, it doesn't really give a huge amount of space in here, but it is a sort of dressing room and bear in mind how long this vehicle is. It's only 733 centimeters in length. So you could sort of, uh, once you come out the shower, use this to uh, get dressed. Alternatively, you could just close the blinds in the front, not over the of the windscreen and that would probably be sufficient anyway anyway so what do you think is there enough room or not i'm going to show you myself in the in the mirror there i am i'm now pulling back a bit i don't know I'm, actually i'm probably thinner than the average person is and uh there isn't uh, there isn't a huge amount of space in here so maybe they're going a bit over the top trying to offer this type of luxury feature. I will point out this one luxury feature I do like. I like the way that I like this way this is all molded down here. I don't like the size of the plug hole, but I do like the rest of it. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to show you though. So I'm gonna come out here if I can. Oh lock the door. That was clever. So there's me coming out now. You should have got this magnetic thing here, and you got the magnetic thing on the other side as well. And watch this going closing, and it catches on there like that. One reason I don't like doors is because in cheaper vans they tend to rattle. It does a little bit, I suppose, but I was using quite a lot of force. Right, let's go back in here and investigate what what the situation is like in here so i've just closed the doors here right it says there's solid wood sliding door well i don't know if it's exactly fair to say wood but it's it's one of these words we we use in as a generalization which is i say petrol for example when i'm in diesel as a generalization right okay what do you think enough room in here or not Well, maybe there is. Maybe this is just a bit unwieldy. Would you prefer the so the new solid wood sliding door, or would you prefer 
a cloth thing. Answers below, there's no correct answer. Right, now let's come back in here. I'll, I'll push this thing here back a bit. Uh, because now I'll push this the whole thing here back. There we go. That goes back like that. Because you can't get in to your storage down here with that open. On the other hand, you've got some more storage down here. And you can get into this storage. There's the cushion. You can get into this storage here because there, there's something that says lift and just lift it up. And you can see from above what's in there. There's your uh, wardrobe, another one. Right, now one feature I do like, I do like these, uh, this thing here, I think that's a good uh, spice rack. That's for those who buy spices in, in jars. I tend to buy mine in packets and stick them into, into jars. Kitchen, well, it's nice, functional comes with a well it could come with a optional coffee machine thing there but look how much space you get by getting rid of a double bed so many vans have double beds up the front it's an integrated van so um, it would be sort of taking space away from the uh, when you're sitting there but you come down here sit down here and you've got masses of space around and you've got all the storage as well of course there are those who need beds which are separate one person might snore and uh, that well, both of you might snore and the dog might snore I have that problem snoring dog wanting to sleep next to me I absolutely um, sympathize on on that one so you might need two beds, and that, that would be understandable. Right, uh, this thing here is on the Fiat. This, one, this particular model is on a six-speed Fiat. Storage under the... There, look at that, it's enormous. That one there is access to water. These are water tanks. And down here, we've got this, which is the Piesto Resistante. There's a big fat fridge, freezer, Let's get in the fat fridge. Oh, and you've got a bit of storage below. Somebody will say, where's the microwave? I'll tell you where the microwave is. It's in the shop. If you want to put a microwave in, then you have to do it. Better to actually um, put it in yourself and get the, get the dealer to do it for you. Uh, this thing here is absolutely enormous. This is brilliant. Huge amount of space there. And it goes, yeah, oops, I'm trying to show you, all the way through. Clever. There's the water drain. Water drain in the winter, for example. There could be other reasons why you want to maybe periodically drain the, the, um, the, 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 the tank. Uh, it's too deep to keep shoes in. There's your shoe. There. And look at that, you can see into the storage from down here in the double floor. Uh, one thing a double floor means, of course, is that you can, um, it keeps your feet warm as you're walking across because it's not the ones on the ground. Uh, very good feature, often forgotten. You can also take the cushions out and you get access to the storage from there as well. So there's access to the storage from all over the place. There, look at that. Pipes are for the blown air heating. More under floor storage. Enormous garage. I think it's 300 kilos and goes in here. You've got your inverter and other electrical equipment in there. 
Although, I don't understand why they put a small door on this side. It should be a big one, in my opinion. Water, gas, storage. Amazing. That for me is such a, that's a huge, huge plus. Okay, right, so there you have it. C Tourer integrated 148LE. So, regards here from Owlendorf, and I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.